is not to give up on my dream of being a mother. I, I literally joke with Isra. I'm like, I am either the most resilient human being or I am wildly delusional. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I tell them I'm either no. one or the other. Because, no. you know, we get these bad notices and it'll be like, and it's, it didn't work this time. Or, you know, I've done multiple cycles of IVF and so many other things. And... I'll be sad for a day. Like, I literally will cry. Sure. And Iz will be so worried about me and, like, call my mom and be like, you know, she's okay. She's yeah. And, like, the next day, I know this sounds psychotic. I'll be like, okay, I found three new baby names. And he'll be like, are you, you're good? Like, and I, I don't know why I refuse to let this be the end of my story. It's like, I yet. know it's that it's not. not. And I love it that I tell myself, it's not a question of will I be a mother, it's a question of when. when yeah. And I promise myself, and I'm sticking to it, that it will happen. It will happen. Well, it will happen. Can I? No. Go. Go. No, no, we're so excited. Listen, we tried for five. Fun- wow, this is such a good news. Congratulations to you, Adrian and Israel. Okay, so Adrian posted this to her Instagram. She wrote, Ever James... For this child, we have prayed just to hear our baby cry, skin to skin, face to face, heart to heart, and eye to eye. Our baby boy is here, and we are so in love. If you have followed our love story, you know that our journey to baby has been very challenging, but God is true to his word and his promises. We have quietly prayed while sitting on this most magnificent magnificent secret for the last nine months. He is worth every fears, every disappointment, every delay, prayer, every IVF circle, every miscarriage, everything. All we feel is joy and overwhelm, love and gratitude, grateful to God, to our angel, surrogate, and to all of our friends and family who have stood with us for over five years on this journey. He's here and we have never been happier. Ah, to lose sleep. Said, she said, we've never been happier to lose sleep. This is awesome. This is such a good news. And the comment section is filled with lots and lots and lots of comments. People celebrating, people commenting, people wishing her happy. Someone said, I'm so happy for you both. Blessings, soaks, soaks. Someone else here said, He's here. Congratulations, my love. And lots and lots of congratulations. Someone else also said, congratulations. What a blessing. Like Adrian said, if you have been following their story, then you know what is going on. Her comment section is full. It's flooded with uh, congratulatory messages. People are super excited for her. People are just like, oh my goodness, finally. You had the beginning part of this video. That was actually Adrian speaking, okay? If you follow their show, then you know the real. Then you know that she always talked about this, how much she wanted a child, so on and so forth. How much she really wanted to be a mom. Okay, so someone in the comment section said, whoa, ho cried so many tears of joy today so happy for you my love see you guys soon so so many beautiful messages i'm telling you if you go to adrian's instagram it is filled up with beautiful beautiful messages coming from fans loved ones friends and so on and so forth if you also go to her husband israel's page it's same thing so many beautiful messages they shared exactly the same message to announce the arrival of their bouncing baby boy that they got very surrogate now like i said earlier if you've been following their story then you know how adrian has been speaking about this how she said she's not going to quit how she said she knows that it is going to be the question is going to be when Okay, and she's not going to feel like this is not going to happen. And every time that an IVF uh, process, IVF process fails, she just cries for a day, dust herself up, and keep, you know, moving. She already started looking for names, you know, baby girl names, baby boy names, and so on in preparation. And now, come 2022, her baby is here. Okay, August. Her baby is here. A big congratulations to you and a big shout out to you. Okay? Big, big congratulations. And I think this 
should actually inspire those people that are looking for the fruit of the womb to not give up okay like uh, Giselle also shared she said she waited five years they were working on that so do not do not say it will never happen never say never it is going to happen you're going to carry your own child you're going to hear the cry of a baby congratulations once more